today I'll be showing you how to reduce the size on your encoded video if you record something in HD quality, i.e. 720p. I have this video here, dog video that's around 100 meg megabytes. And by default, uh, what do you call it? When you go to video, you'll see that this quality is set to RF20 over here. I just clicked on the video tab. Uh, all you have to do is move it over or put your icon on there and it has suggestions for standard def and high def video. They suggest 23. But if you move the number higher, it'll do more compression, I think. But in the end, your video file will be smaller. I, I guess in older versions they had like a target size over here. I don't see it anymore. It's maybe got moved over somewhere. Uh, but this is what I usually use to lower the, what do you call it, quality and make the file size smaller. So 23 is what I usually use, but on let's say this video, uh, and let's I've been trying 25 now because the compression size is about what I get on my uh, iPhone when I send it over to YouTube. It comp compresses the video a lot. So try 25. And that's pretty much it. And I just go ahead and start the encoding process. Uh, this will take a few minutes, like two minutes. My computer is pretty old. It's just an old dual core. Uh, 3 gigahertz E8400 CPU. I've been contemplating upgrading it to a i3 or i5, but I'm pretty cheap. So, so we'll be done in a minute. Uh, there are better videos out there on how to uh, increase the compression on handbrake. I just wanted to do this f just for fun. So you can fool around with this. You can fool around with the other settings, but this constant quality RF for video settings is the easiest thing for me. I'm not super smart. I just like things that are easy. Um, so let's see. I guess it might take like two minutes. Um, so I really like using Handbrake, but someone recommended me another tool, which I'll probably post on their description. I forgot the name. It also does encoding, and it's free, but uh, it was made in China by some developer, so uh, I'll probably do a short review on that. So we're almost done with encoding the video. Um, once it's done, I'll try seeing how big the size is and playing the video. Okay, now it's done. It's only 18 megabytes. So that's really small compared to the 100 megabyte original video. And now, if I play it, it's not too bad actually. I'm playing this off a of VLC player, and that was my ugly butt passing by. This is just a video of me giving my dog a haircut. And so that's one of the easier ways. I'm sure there's better videos on how to do the best compression for your HD video. So for a regular video, let's say it was an HD, like non-HD, 640 by 480, you could do something lower value like a 22 or 20 as they recommend here. Okie dokie, good luck.